here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And our starting pitcher here today, Zach Wheeler. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Swinging a foul straight back. The 0-2. Got him swinging. Jorge Soler up at the plate. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. One out, base is empty. Next nope. pitch is downstairs. There's a high chopper. Sosa gathers and throws to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Four yeah, one, no there. strikes. Two out, space is empty. In the air, left side. Schwarber on the run. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here in Philadelphia. And on the hill here today, Kyle Harrison. Well, but maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Billy, no left fielder. Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. That one fouled off. That's ball. a little bit low. I got one ball, one strike. And it's through for him. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Trey Turner at the plate. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Nope. Just missed. Nobody out. Runner at first. The 
the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And now the lefty fights it off. He'll see another. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. At the belt and fires. And, in. and one gone. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Bryce Harper to the plate. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Schwarber leads off first with one away. Wouldn't chase that time. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. To the right side, and that one finds its way through. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just one of those seam high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now it's Alec Bohm. Double steal. And that one fouled off. Now the 01. Grounder might be two. The underhand flip. One at second, and that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Top of the second, and here is Michael Conforto. The left hand, Michael Conforto. Yeah, the right hander back to work. That one down the line and foul ball. Is he a one? And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Really aggressive at the plate. That at bat, Singy. He, he was hacking at all of them. Yeah, and he chased all three of the pitches, Boog. And that's not a bat you feel good about as a hitter. But I think we have to give some credit to the guy out there on the mound. Clearly, those offerings had some serious deception to him. Here's the catcher, Patrick Bailey. There's a strike up high. Going one. Chase that time. Really One close ball, pitch down yeah. around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. One down, base is empty. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And the pitch. And that just misses. It's a good take. High fly ball, right field. Castellanos gets under it. And there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And here is Matt Chapman. The 
There's a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. In the air, out towards left center. Schwarber pulls that one down, and that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning, and now it is JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. Harrison back to work. That Don't one way outside. Ball one. And a big swing and a miss. They can what live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a strike. Two. One ball, two strikes. Close, but call the ball. Ball two. Mm, that was pretty close on the inside, and obviously he's not too happy with the call out there on the mound as he lets the umpire hear it a little bit. This is where you can't let that frustration compound itself, though. you got to let it out and move on. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one carrying. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's one nothing. This crowd is on fire right now. They're going nuts thanks to that home run. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Close oh, one. Doesn't get the call. 1-0. and oh. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Down the line. Conforto. Long run. Makes the grab on the run. One away. Man, Boog, I love that watching an outfielder take on the, the wall to make play. that play. Wait. And it's a lot easier to watch Fair from up here. here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold hey. on to it after contact. Whit oh, Merrifield now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Out to short, into the outfield, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Edmundo Sosa stands in now and watches strike one. And he deals. Right field down the line and that one slices foul. That misses. Down one and two. Inside, just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now the 
count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. And that's, that's ball, ball four. four. Batting done. Here's but Christian Pache. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Up and in. And that is ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. One out. Runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Yastrzemski ranging back to the warning track. Makes the catch. Runner tags at second. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Billy. And the next pitch is way outside. Merrifield at third. Sosa on at first with two down. Swung on, belted. That one is back. Off the batter's hand. That one is center field, and they add to the lead. It's 4 nothing. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. So two down. Here's Trey Turner. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Harper in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That one misses and one and one. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and Outside. keep pressing forward. Run around the move. Base hit, left center field. Around second is Turner. Around third. Relay throw home. Safe. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he had to get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So a man aboard. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. And that one fouled off. Step off throw to first. Back in there standing. And the pitch. 
check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No Two strikes. And ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. The one two. That's a ball. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. That one way inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And here it comes. And yeah, there's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring it. position, yes, and a chance for this Get offense it. to add on to their lead. Real here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Kyle Harrison gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, number 73 on for his major league debut so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage he just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point the only difference there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium but the game itself is still the same look at the catcher whatever fingers he puts down that's what you throw and just let him lead you in this one real mucho in the box now no balls in a strike oh and one And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Oh, Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. The ball next one. pitch misses, and that's ball one. One ball, two strikes to count. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two-seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Two on, two outs. Ball and another hit. ball. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. A dive. He's got it. Well, he was ready to make a move. I don't know if his eyes were open when he made that catch, but it is a highlight play. Great job of ending the inning. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. All set for the start of the inning. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Estrada. The right-hander back to work. And a good eye there. Counts one and oh. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count even at one. Center field. Pache ranging after it. Makes the grab one down. The right fielder. Mike, Mike Yastrzemski up here. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one the other way. That's a base hit.
Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Nick Ahmed here to hit. And a foul ball. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And maybe they've got something going here, trying to get back into this one. Austin Slater stands in. And there's a hit. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. He's safe. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And digging in for San Francisco, Jorge Soler. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one off the mark, and it's 1-0. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Two on, one out. Ball, oh, that's it. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. There's a strike, and it's two and one now. First and third, one down. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. That misses, and the count is filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the right-hander deals. And that one hammered. That's back. That's down. One hops off the wall. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, and it's now a two-run game. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And here's the first baseman, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1. Strike on the outside, and it's 0-1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. There's a strike. And a ground ball to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Two away. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's in there. That's strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Late swing, foul to the left. 
Solaire at third with two away. Out there to center. Pache gets under. Brings it in. And that's the third out. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Back at Citizens Bank Park. And now Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. On the ground. And it goes just foul. Next offering misses. And it's a ball and a strike. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Jordan Hicks up and throwing. Rodgers getting loose as well. The wind of the pitch. That's inside. Nope, inside, ball two. That clips the corner. And the righty deals. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. And he can't make the play. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Whit Merrifield up to the plate and fires in a fastball at 95. The pitch. Ball. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. He's safe. From the good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. Pitch misses there. The count now two and two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Stays alive. No outs. Runner on second. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And it's second. Left field. Conforto makes the catch. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That oh, front that's shoulder that's coming that's open instead of staying closed. Fun. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And here is Sosa to the plate. And it's caught for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Christian Pache digs in now. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog. you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. Come back to the mound. On to first. What a play, inning over. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains 5-3. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Orion Kirkering. 
These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The why to kick the pitch. That one lifted to left. That gets down for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a blue pick behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Fouled off. He was late. With the tying run at the plate, top half of inning number four. Up and in, and the count even one and one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Jose Alvarado, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball that's ready to go. Tying run at the plate. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next offering misses down and away. Way to lay off that pitch down. High fly ball out towards left field. On its way. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. Home run number five on the season. It's 5-5. The crowd just devastated here in Philly. Well, this thing was hooking down the line the entire way. We knew it was going to be close, and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to keep his hands inside just enough to keep it fair. And fouled off. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. Uh-oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez is checked into the game. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Giants go to a pinch runner. Tyler Fitzgerald. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. That one close, rule the ball. And yeah, that's ball one. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He Eight. needs to pick his spot very wisely. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Run gone here. Nick Ahmed, the next giant to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning. In oh, the throw is wild. Third, you've got to move your feet as footwork is so important on those pickoff throws over to first and can be a little easy to get twisted up and throw across your body and he didn't have much of a lead over there at all so I doubt he was trying to do anything more than just keep him honest which makes that error hurt even more. Turned on but foul wide of third. Fitzgerald leads off second with one gone in the inning.
The shortstop takes a ball. In the air, left field, sizes this one up, hauls it in, and there's two away. Now batting the designated hitter, Austin Slater. And now it's the Giants' DH, Austin Slater. RBI knock for him last time, now a chance to drive in another run. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just missed. Swings through that one for strike one. Two balls, one strike. Up the middle, on the run, sends it over to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. All even at five apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now into the game, Tyler Fitzgerald. He'll play second. And for the Giants, Jordan Hicks. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Right-handed reliever. That one missed. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Here's Turner now. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First Ball pitch, one. and he just misses. Ball one, no strike. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Bounce to third. Chapman oh. over to first in time. And a couple of quick outs. That's a huge defensive three. play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. This one chopped up the middle. Ahmed gets it to first. Harper retired. And the Phillies are set down in order. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Our score holds at five apiece. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth and digging in for San Francisco, Jorge Soler. Dominguez back to work. That's down and in. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Now 2-0. Oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. 2-0 to oh, Cal. Here it comes. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Tattooed and gone. 
That's one way to quiet the crowd. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they've rallied from five back. It's six five. You can sense it inside the stadium. These fans are devastated. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Christopher Sanchez takes over on the mound. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Wilmer Flores, the next giant to hit. That misses the zone. Ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Ground ball right side. Harper. The flip to the pitcher covering. One away here in the fifth. Number eight, Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto will climb in. Check swing didn't go. One and oh. That swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One ball, one strike. The one one. And it's fouled away. One down, base is empty. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, oh, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Up next to the Giants, the third baseman. Runner at first with two away. Matt Chapman now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch misses. At the belt and fires. Chapman gets a piece there. Two outs. That's to third, and that's just foul. One and two here, and they'll do it again. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bailey on second. Chapman at first. Two out of the inning. Just missed. Two on, two outs. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Swing and a pop-up. Under it. Nabs it, and that is that. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now.
It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now, and on the mound, closer, Camilo Doval. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Well, one run game. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. The pitch. Ball one there. Looking to get the tying run on base. Right through there for a strike. Strike two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Next pitch misses way outside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitchers would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And the slider just misses. JT Real Muto in the on-deck circle. Back to work, 3-2 now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. JT Real Muto steps in. One for two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. One down, Phillies down a run. And now it's even up. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Out towards left center. And it drops in. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Makes the grab. Number nine, second baseman, Whit Last chance for the Phillies. Now it's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. The pitch. And that's outside. And that's ball two. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Edmundo Sosa next to bat for Philadelphia. A one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Ball four. He walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. First and second. Two outs. Edmundo Sosa, the next to hit. That one in triple digits. One and one. 
In the dirt. Nothing happening as the count evens at one. Falling behind two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. So the tying run at second. On the ground, right side, down the line, and it's foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Christian Pache on deck for the Phillies. One strike away. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Solaire getting an angle on it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants hold on to win a nail biter. Stranding the winning run on base. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 